Time to rock and roll! Hello my friends. My name is Bot Mathematician and this is Hollow Sir. Also, Chief Investigative Reporter Dora joined us this evening. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. We continue to monitor the level of usefulness of the legendary cards from the Festival of Legends. We are trying to find the most objective way to determine the optimal cards for crafting, which is practically devoid of subjective judgments. To do this, the guys came up with the Utility Index algorithm. They collect a large amount of data about the usefulness of cards in different formats into a special table that determines the best cards. There have been some changes in the meta game over the past few weeks. We've seen another big balance patch, as well as a mini set release. These factors have had an impact on the utility index of most cards. A few words about our method. The most important factor that has a decisive influence on the final result during testing is the win rate under various circumstances. For high efficiency, the card can get up to 40 points. The overall popularity of the card does not significantly affect the result. Much more important is the popularity of the card within the class. In other words, how many meta decks of a certain class use the card. Another factor is flexibility. A card can score up to 10 extra points if it is used in several different archetypes. And finally, usefulness in other formats can add another 20 points to the card. Cards that receive about 50% can be considered promising. These cards have a chance to become more useful in the future. Over the past 30 days, several cards with this result have received significantly more points, according to our algorithm. In addition to the statistics, I have collected and added data on the predictions of popular streamers in our community during the announcement season. In my opinion, this is a good way to compare community expectations with harsh reality. To begin, let's look at one of the cards in more detail. The utility index of the legendary spell Starlight Groove is only 1%. For a month, the card lost 6% of its usefulness from the maximum result. As of today, the card is completely useless. All current Paladin meta decks simply don't need this tool. Only 2% of Paladin decks use the spell in experimental builds. Moreover, when this card is used in a match, it most often does not help increase your chance of winning. Only Trump managed to give the most accurate assessment of the potential of this tool. In turn, our community, through voting, suggested that this is one of the strongest legendary cards in the set. I hope that the logic of this approach will remain extremely clear to you. We will leave the rest of the cards without comment, and meet you at the end of the list. No one moves like I do! Do the magic. You will all cheer for me. I mean us. My torment is my muse.
Before we continue, we want to thank our community for their help. Your likes, hitting the bell icon, patronage and other activities prolong the life of our channel. Thanks everyone for the kindness and support. I bring the Mega Death! Music's for everybody, eh? You think you can battle rap? The Grim Totem have had enough of your noise! We gotta need my room in the bit! Thousand Needles, are you ready to ra 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 rock? Hey you, install these for me, won't yous? One of the big surprises of our rating is the significant increase in the usefulness of MC Blingtron. Despite the extremely low popularity, rogues are experimenting with this card in almost all current archetypes. In addition, the card demonstrates good efficiency. But the problem is that the class as a whole does not show the most impressive win rate. Infinitize the Maxitude also increased the usefulness significantly over the month. The card has become an essential tool for most of the mage archetypes. Other than that, the card is useful in both wild and duels modes. The same goes for the Stranglethorn Heart spell, the card has become useful for many hunter strategies in all modes. Please note that all of these cards received buff at the end of April. But a significant increase in the usefulness of these tools occurred only after a few weeks. Finally, we can't wait to get your opinion on the current state of affairs in the metagame. Is a competitive element in the standard format fairly balanced? Should developers implement new nerfs and buffs? Share your thoughts in the comments and join the polls in the community tab. Finally, we want to express our boundless gratitude to our sponsors. Dear friends, your support is invaluable. Many thanks to each of you. We also want to welcome new subscribers to our mathematician squad. Unfortunately, for technical reasons, we only see nicknames of public subscribers who did not hide the subscription section on their channel, but we are grateful to everyone for joining. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for spending this time with us. We really hope that we will have the opportunity to get in touch in the next video. Take care of yourself. And never give up. Freestyle! Job's done.